Welcome to the Board Game Snobs Podcast. Critically harsh reviews with a touch of class. Hello, and welcome to the Board Game Snobs Podcast, where we talk about modern gaming, board games, and other various th- topics such as that. Here with me in Ghetto Studios number one is my friend Gobby. Hey! My other friend Enrique. Why, hello. And I myself, Grandmaster Flex, Jerry. We are the Uncle Cracker of board game podcasts. People like us, they don't really know why. <laughs> but after listening to us for Make so... Make think of beaches. Yeah. They just don't want to stand around and say goodbye. That I don't was, know that one. You don't know that one? No. I'm thinking of all the Uncle Cracker songs I've heard. There's only the one. Only one I know is... When the sun goes down over the water when the sun goes... That's like See, Kenny Chesney. Yeah, I'm done with him already. Uh, he's 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 down here at one of the casinos, I think. Uncle Cracker. Well, that, that's where he belongs. Is a casino. He's like the new twenty bucks. You can go same. He's like the new uh, what's that Newton guy? Wayne. Wayne. The Wayne. new Wayne. Wayne, Wayne Newton's Newton. it. He's legit. You like Wayne Newton? In Las Vegas. What? Lo- he's you like the king of Las Vegas. Wayne Newton. After Frank Sinatra died. Wayne. Wayne. Or maybe he's the king of Branson. I don't remember. I- <laughs> Branson, Las Vegas, it's all the same. <laughs> Pretty much. No, I've been to Branson. Oh. <laughs> it's very boring. I've only been to Branson. I've, so been, to, I've been to Branson <laughs> twice. All right. Pretty much, I wound up with a timeshare and uh, <laughs> a great sense of wanting, to, a great sense of wanting, wanting to go home. What is this podcast about? Are you oh. saying Branson, Missouri is nothing compared to Las Vegas, Nevada? Yeah. Okay. What place has illegal legal prostitution? The other place has, and get this, the Dolly Parton Roundup Rodeo Feast. Hey. Like you pay 40 bucks and eat with awesome. your hands and you watch people ride horses, but they ride horses by standing on them. That sounds weird. It does. And it was weird. It made me highly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor horses. I did like, uh, I did like, what's their six flags that they have over there? Silver Dolly Dollar pa- City. Oh. Silver Dollar City. Yeah. I heard that's pretty good. It was really good. Never been there. You get to go in and they have like these little old timey things that you walk through and people are blowing glass and making now qu- that I would like to say. quilting stuff and you can sit there and watch a blacksmith. Black- what happens if you inhale? When you're blowing glass? No. I don't know. <laughs> you get a shard of glass down your throat? I'm, 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 you, Hot boiling sand down your throat? I guess. I Yeah. Boy, that would be horrible. <laughs> but that's why they had the big flute. Cough, hiccup. Why you blowing glass <laughs> that's a big, They had that big flute <laughs> so they don't accidentally inhale glass. Oh, uh, that's sad. Yeah, this is the best opening we've ever done. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how I can segue. Oh, you know what happens when you, when you, you, know what happens when you drop glass? What? It clanks. <laughs> and, and you know what they say uh, nobody can hear you clank in space king, king of segways thank you we played clank in space yes we also played clank y'all play clank i've only played clank in space i have played both i've cheated on you i played clank with enrique and then i played <laughs> clank you. in space with gobby enrique yeah Oh, there you are. There he is. Yeah. He's in the corner. Uh, Enrique, yeah. hey. Uh, I'm just in the corner. Just okay. Uh, let's, let's defer to Enrique, because he is our guest. Okay. Guest. Well, he's not really. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. You can find us on Instagram at Board Game Snobs. You can find us on Twitter at Board Game Snobs. You can email BoardGameSnobs at gmail.com. You can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Podbean. You can find us on, I think, Overcast, Stitcher, Google. And uh, at your mama's house. <laughs> Also, I've got on Minds.com, which is supposed to be the new Facebook. I have not got Minds? on Mind or M-I- M-I-N-D. Not like Mimes, like the people who paint their face white and don't say Mines? anything. Oh, Minds, like the brain. Yes. Oh. And I'm trying to set us up because everyone says that's going to be the new Facebook, so I'm trying to get ahead. Well, I'm trying to get us on Spotify. Uh-huh. It's like Podbean goes to Spotify. Mm. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm moving and shaking. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just sitting here. <laughs> that is- we're doing this is all happening live. I'm <laughs> doing it right now. We're linked in. I'm working right now. There we go. So now that we've wait, got wait, we've I, self-promoted. Also, yes, we self-promoted. But uh Captain Croc. Captain Croc, we love you. Well and Jeff. Well, Captain Croc, we asked to like email us, tell us how the game was. Have you got any emails? No. I haven't got no emails. Captain Croc, he like took our game and ran. We got radio silence. Calling if, you out, Captain If you Croc. enjoy our show, well, we have gotten a few people comment. Jeff. Where's he from? I forget. Was but that Jeff? Board Game Geek? Yeah. Jeff sent us. 
He Jeff did, sent us. Sent us, sent us what did he sent? An email. Jeff sent us. <laughs> where, did, where did he send us? <laughs> he he sent me to my happy place by sending me a geek mail that was very nicely written and Aww, complimentary. And he's nice. now the one and only member of our board game guild on Board Game Geek, which oh. I forgot that I even made because I was too busy making our Maybe LinkedIn. I should get on there. You should. You're not even on your own deal <laughs> on Board there. Game Geek. Well, I'm a busy man. I am too. Tax season. <laughs> it's tough. Uh, but Captain Croc, yeah, he didn't email us back about the game or nothing. So. Yeah, well, it's probably because it was Meeple Wars. <laughs> he's probably he's probably at all crying. Probably cursing us. Cursing us. Uh, but if you're out there, Captain Croc, we still love you. Our first fan. First call in. And then there was a guy on our website that said... Uh, do more than one every two months podcast. Which is what we're trying to do here. So we're trying to do it. Thank you, sir, for this fine suggestion. And then I think he was Eric. Yeah, Eric. And then Jeff on Board Game Geek. Eric and Jeff. Captain Croc. Okay, Jeff, question. You may or not be my friend. Did you spell it J-E-F-F or G-O-F? No, he's J-E-F-F. Okay, okay. okay. I, he is, I, he's allowed. Uh, he's not g off. I, I appreciate that. But I'll tell you that time when I met, when I met Jeff Eaglestein and uh. I called him g off. <laughs> He did not think that funny, but I told him. Then I went to tell him that I—that's just what I think of when I see that. And he didn't think that was funny. But then I gave his game a good review. Well, there you go. And I hope which that, one? Uh, not the Expanse. Oh no. Which one? Uh, the uh, Pit Crew, Pit Car, Pitch Pit Crew, Pit Crew. Pit crew. Yeah, I like yeah. that game. We played that. I never did tell you this. We played that with like it says it goes to like four people. No, team on teams. It goes like to nine. Nine people. You played we it? played it and it's full compliment. And? And it was fast and crazy and fun. Pit? What was it called again? Pit Crew. Pit Crew. It was fun at the maximum amount. We played Actually, it. it was more fun at the maximum amount because it was more crazy. You remember the old game of Speed? Yeah. On cards? That's what it is. And it was good. We played it just two player when we first got it and I loved it. Just because it was just, I didn't think to include that. Well, there you go. Busting out old classics. Yeah. Good, good job, G off. It was good, G off. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so what were you going to say, though? Uh, Clank in Space. I segued into that oh, like 10 okay. minutes ago. Now I have to try to segue <laughs> back it. I should drop something my to make bad. a clanking source. <laughs> no, that's my comic book. Oh, sorry. Uh, Enrique, mm. what did you think about Clank? The original Clank. The original Clank. The one that did not take place in space. I would. I believe it would be an excellent starter game for new people who are getting into board games, because it's a very simple mechanic of the game. You go in into a dungeon, you get treasure. You go deeper into the dungeon, you get better treasure. And there is also a mechanic in the game where you, if you were to get out, how many mechanics are in this game? Um, just it sounds like a body shop. A body shop. <laughs> Burn. Auto humor. Uh, <laughs> for all our diesel mechanic listeners. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry about that. Well, actually, I was surprised that you like the game. Because I hate deck building. Yes. And deck building is one of the mechanics in the game. And for all you, I'm about to offend a lot of people out there. But I think that people like deck building because it speaks to that whole... Magic the Gathering vibe mm. and people who play those type of card games and they just think anything that has deck building, they like. And it is, it's kind of like you're upgrading your deck and there's a nice feel to it. I just don't like that to be the only mechanic in a game. It was enough deck building in the game, but it also had this spatial aspect of moving through the dungeon and how deep am I going to go? And it so was it had, a board had a board in conjunction with and the And then deck. there's a dragon thing that would come at occasionally and you had to put these yeah, cubes in the if, bag. And if you were to get out of the dungeon early, it would end the game quicker as well. Yes. And I thought, what I liked about it... I think it, that's one of the things they fixed in Clunk and Space, they say. Well, this is what I liked about it. I went deep into the dungeon. Because that's yeah. how I do it. I roll. Okay. I roll up in there, and I steal the Indiana best of the Jones best. Style. Yeah, so I went in there and stole whatever the golden dragon was. Yeah, but I was I got out early because I didn't see the treasure down there. So when I got out... You didn't see the treasure where? He, he, in the deeper area. I went because down... Because Jerry stole it already? I, no, I went yeah. down to the dragon's bedroom and stole the slippers. Aww. And Ricky, like, just... Took something out of the I took like room. his crown or something. Oh, why are y'all stealing from a dragon? What'd he do to you? Because it's adventurous, Oh, Wait. Dragon heart. 
That's the only dragon show I can <laughs> think of. Right. <laughs> to the stars, the bowl. dragon, and that's the whole time we were playing that. I was thinking that this dragon had the uh, Sean Connery's. I am the last one. That was the greatest casting ever. <laughs> Do you realize that Sean Connery's dragon voice is the same as his German submarine voice? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Russian. I'm sorry, Russian. Red October. Most things in here don't react well to bullets. Well, in Clank, most things in here don't react well to noises. Ba- noises. Yeah. Because apparently we kept getting attacked by the uh, by the dragon. And Enrique decided to, for some reason, flee the castle like, and make right, the dragon I got everything mad. I needed. Time. Time to run. That sounds like an Enrique maneuver. The only thing run, I like about this game in terms of that is that when it was over, I had thought I had won. I had the best items. I'd done everything. Interesting. En- you thought that with me as well. And Enrique <laughs> nickeled and dimed me. Uh, me he, too, Enrique. He, and uh, Both games I lost. And this is the thing that I don't Maybe like about the game. Maybe you should learn your lesson. It's also what I don't like about the game is that I went down. I got the best item. I came out. I made it out. But somebody nickeled and dimed me to death by getting points off their cards and piddly stuff that they stole. That's my one problem with the game. It is an excellent entry level game. Clank is. Play Clank in space. Clank in space, that's what I played. I didn't like it as much. Never played Clank. I didn't like it as much as Clank. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's supposed to be all the go. I I think I like my games simple. Like I like my pizza. And from Simon. I don't like simple pizza. I like deluxe. Well. All the stuff on it. Well. Clank in Space has all the stuff on it. So well, if you like the, the deluxe. Uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. I sometimes like the, I like a cheese pizza. I like the theme. Depends on what mood I'm in. I like the theme of the straight clank. The clank that's not in space. The Terran clank. I liked it that theme better. Than space yeah, monster. I just, yeah. I don't know why. And that's stupid it because it's just painted on. It's just, a, it's just the theme's very light anyways. Well... 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 I, uh, that's a deep subject. I wasn't... Oh, my God. I've got a list. How of, old are you? I got a list of dad jokes. I'm about to bust out jokes. here. I oh, have a no. list of Uncle Cracker jokes, dad jokes. Hey, how do you how do you find Fresh Prince? Oh, dad, got I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> how do you find Will Smith in the snow? Look for Fresh Prince. There you go. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that put that's okay, that, that's gonna so be a over the top. You know you're a dad when you put Bro. the punchline in the beginning of the joke. Going on the road. <laughs> Literally, okay, I just want to point out right now, I'm pretty sure that a few years ago, if you had busted that out, mind you, the best comics at the time were the guy that said, get her done, and the guy uh-huh. said, that here's your sign. Right. Those were the guys that were rocking in this place. You oh, missed yeah. your call. You should have yeah. got on stage. They were good. They were good, weren't they? You might be a redneck. I don't need someone to tell me I might be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I look out. You're my, from Antlers, Oklahoma. I look, at my, I look out my yard and see my neighbor's dog, dogs out there. <laughs> Killing a rabbit and eating a dead deer carcass, and I know I might be a redneck. You, uh, it's not might. I might be. You are. No, no. However, a redneck actually is a negative connotation. Mm. The people here don't use it in the pejorative. No, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Pejorative. Yeah, thanks. Dictionary, please. Thesaurus. That's yeah. my type of dinosaur. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Clank in Space. It's okay. Um, it was okay. It's okay. I won. Yeah, and I was proud of you. <laughs> because I beat you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Scott. I was glad. You won because you beat me. <laughs> it, it, I had no desire to play Clank in Space or Clank again. They were entry-level games. I'd rather play other entry-level games. But I do see, despite my dislike for it, if you're an entry level gamer or you really like deck building, if you are a deck builder, then get one of these two. Clank and Space has got more stuff, probably more along that lines, but there you go. I think it's probably a fun game to play with your older children, like 10, 11, 12 yeah. years old. That's something that they'll get them into deck I got, building. And I, 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 got the, I got the game and I got the app because supposedly you're supposed to be able to play it by yourself now. You play. I have not played the one the app. So I haven't either, but... I'm gonna try it. I'll give it. A, I'll give it a go and let you know. Mm. Okay. So Clank and Space and Clank, they're kind of uh, Clank and Space and Clank board game snobs approved or not? I don't. I, well, okay. Here's how I approve things. Do I want to play it again? I do not. So I don't uh, approve of it. So not approved. Well, how do you feel about it? Clank and Space. Yeah. Uh, I was not impressed. But I want to play the app and the solo part. So it's partially approved, Enrique. I don't know. I don't know. Partially, uh, you're like tentatively. 
is disapproved as of now until oh. I play the solo. Enrique, is it like, disapproved? I would play it again because I'm at still a entry player. You well, ain't entry. You entry. You ain't entry. You play every game. I'm do. basic though. You I'm attack. Basic. De- oh, oh basic. Enrique, come the on, man. guy. I, for me, I'm you not, are I am with not us. The, I am not on the same. You come in three levels. out of three every time. Enrique wins a lot. Enrique, I, he does win. I just want to point this out. When it comes to money, Enrique wins. Okay, Enrique also also just threw like the biggest insult ever, saying he's basic. And I do believe there's someone at this table who he completely obliterated off the board at TI four, and it was not I. <laughs> Uh, so I would not. I don't wait wanna... a minute. <laughs> All right. No. Well, let's see. You're not basic. This You're is the deal. This is what I like about Enrique. Enrique, this is what I like about you. Okay. You find a strategy or a game point. It's not a really a strategy. Whatever. Stra- <laughs> you find a. Uh, well, what is it then? It's like he takes one aspect of the game one aspect and he of the focuses game, on just and he that. He will stick to that to the very end. The, the game yeah. might have all these bells and whistles and various things, but it might have this one little thing <laughs> like you you can mine and he'll go around and just mine everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's massive wars going on around him. And then at the end of the game, you look over like, what's happening? He's I don't got know. the most oil of <laughs> he's anyone. Old, he's got all the <laughs> copper and all the yeah. gold. And so, I've actually won. And he wins occasionally. And that is it's very just, frustrating. It's interesting. It's <laughs> very interesting. frustrating. But he one. is good about, uh, he will read his cards. And it drives me insane sometimes because I'm like, all right, let's go. Let's go. But I have, he's reading. I have looked over at, at Enrique and yelled at him to stop reading his cards. And he sat it down, looked at it and said, do you know these were made in China? <laughs> these were patented by, <laughs> these were trademarked by. And he'll read the, even the fine print. He like reads That's every little crazy. thing. I, I actually. But I have, he will know his powers and I, I don't know mine because I don't read my cards. I have every single expansion for Cosmic Encounter. I sent him the game home with just the aliens and he read Every single 180 something <laughs> alien cards, and then was like, My favorite one's this one. I like, I don't even know that. I don't, which one's that? I've played the game, but I've like played like with six different aliens. Oh, mine's favorite. Yeah. Yeah. He likes his cards. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But so I'm not saying he's, he's not basic. <laughs> Enrique. He's advanced. Uh, so Clank and Space. The and third Clank. silent member of Board Game Snobs. Yeah. <laughs> so let's get off Clank because it's kind of depressing me. <laughs> Why? Because you lost both times? Yes. Let's move on to something that really... <laughs> what does that say about you? You lost both times at Clank at a deck builder. It's because it utilizes strategies that I don't quite... They're not my cup of tea. Like deck building is you not like my a, thing. You like a what? I like something that I can sit that's spatial. Like there's territories. Because I like that feeling of... this like is Like barony? This, yeah. This is mine. I've taken this from not you. Not to mention barony for like the fifth straight podcast. But we played barony again. We played it... I introduced it to a, a new fella. A new fella. Two players. We played it two player. Um, no, wait, wait, sorry, I'm so I'm wrong. We played it three player. Me, Bubba, our IT guy that really doesn't do IT anymore. Our former IT guy. <laughs> our former IT he guy. Didn't, we didn't fire him. We laid him off. We were out of work. <laughs> but when we get, he's big, like, y'all aren't doing anything for me to do. <laughs> we print. Uh, Jerry prints one. Review every six months. But I'll tell you what, our website's cooking. You can check, you can check it. Australia loves us. Australia, we're big in, we're big in Singapore. We're really big in Singapore. If it weren't for Australia and Singapore, we'd be out of business. Yeah. But uh, what's that, Sam? Uh, Barony, three player. Barony. We wow. played three player, me, Bubba, and DJ. And then you played it four player. DJ of Disagreeable Nerd. I don't do a cross, enough cross promotion. You ha- D- Gambi has a podcast called Disagreeable Nerd where he talks about movies and movies, pop TV, culture. nerd culture. But basically, what it is is that if you can imagine, mm. if you can imagine Star Wars, not Star Trek. Yeah, uh, basically, if you can imagine <laughs> this being Gambi calm. Mm. Imagine disagreeable nerd when he's had l- he's he's loosened up, had a few drinks, and he starts yelling at everybody. <laughs> so if you want to listen, the to first g- episode was the worst. Yeah, I've, I've reined it in. Since if you want to hear Gobby yell at somebody about how genius Seinfeld is, go ahead and turn in. Uh, DJ makes me angry with his point. DJ's like negative about everything. I like DJ. Well, DJ's my friend. 
Well, you need to come on Disagreeable Nerd sometime. I wish. And when I say DJ, I You're always try to fill enough. in the blank. What's well, because last time I was on there, you yelled at me so much. <laughs> well, you were wrong. I said some very bad things about Ray. What do you think the about the new Lady Doctor Who? <sighs> not watched it. Oh, well, it's because uh, it's not on. Oh, uh, we're not transitioning into. Uh, now look, Ed, welcome to the Disney World. <laughs> you're trying to, you're trying to, you're trying to bait me. I'm not getting into this. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, really looking forward to that though. Yeah, me too. Uh, Barony three player, awesome, amazing. Barony two player, awesome, amazing. Uh, I lost the three player game. Bubble one, me and DJ tied. Then immediately afterwards, we played a four player game of Barony. Awesome, max amount. Without the expansion. expansion. I won that one. But nonetheless, awesome. it doesn't matter. It's awesome. Barony is so awesome. Stop what you're doing and buy Barony. <laughs> Just go to Amazon. If you like area control, if you like medieval times, go it, buy Barony. If you like a game that has four page rule Mark books. Mark Andre, you owe us. Yeah, we love Mark Andre. There are literally ones of people buying this game. That, oh, 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 segue, segue. What? Mark Andre. There you go. Okay. There you go. Mark Andre has released, recently released a game through Z-Man Games called, what's the name of it? Majesty. Uh, uh, four, uh, four. You're killing the segue. For the realm. Killing it. <laughs> I always forget if it's of or four. But Majesty, Majesty for, for the realm. For the realm. All right. Mark Andre cursed us with splendor. Yes. And then But it's got nice poker chips. Yeah, it's got nice poker chips. And then he come back and to me redeemed himself with Barony. So this is his new It didn't very, come back and redeem himself with Barony. Barony was before Splendor. I know, but the deal is is that like nobody played Barony. No. Everybody played Splendor. I never heard about Barony. And you know what? If you play Splendor, you're wrong. Splendor is wrong. Because you know what you should be playing? Bar- uh, B- Ma- Barony or Majesty for the Realm? Neither one. Majesty for the Realm. Majesty you know, for the Realm was more along Splendor lines, yes. It's very long lines of Splendor. It's very entry level. I don't know why I liked it. I, I had to think. I've played this and played this and played this. I like a We're game. We're going to play it with Enrique. And we tonight. are going to play it again with Enrique. It's... uh. We've I've played it only two player and so far I've loved it. You have these cards that you spread out that form a little mural of your kingdom in a line of I think buildings. like nine cards in there, eight cards, nine yeah. cards, something of that that are buildings. Each building has a little action that it does when you place the character required in that spot. So for instance, the guy who works at the brewery, the guy, the beer master guy, whatever his name right. is, you put him over here. the The guards they go in the guardhouse, the knights go in the castle, the nobles go in the kingdom type thing. Anyways, so at the beginning of the game, these six cards are laid out before you for which in a row that you can select and install these character cards. And you have meeples. I think it's like five or six meeples, and very much like Century Spice Road, which I don't particularly care for. To take the further card down, you have to leave a meeple. So you leave a meeple on the first card, leave a meeple on the second card, then you take the third card. And then everything slides down, more cards come out. If somebody takes a card that's got meeples on it, you take those meeples. You can only have five meeples or six meeples, I forget, in your little holding area. You then take that card, put it in its appropriate space, do the action. Whether it's gain points, attack the other player and cause them to lose a character and they go into the infirmary. It's mostly just collect points. Though. It's basically just collect points. It is a you do something. The only and one you that does points. something different is the guard that attacks the knight. If, if you don't have enough defenders, yeah, yeah, it's it's so simple, and you gain a lot of points. And the points are of course and the these, healer, the healer. The points are the uh, poker chips that are they're poker, poker chips. chips. Everybody Mark loves, Andre loves poker oh, chips. He loves poker chips. I have played this game and played this game. I don't know why I like it as such an entry level game. Uh, it's it's just so smooth. You only take 12 moves. You only collect 12 people. And then at the end of the game, whoever has the most points, and you c- count the points of each building, who has the most people in this building gets that building's points and so forth and so on. It's very quick. It's what, 15 minutes, baby? Oh, yeah. You maybe. burn through it. You add up the points. And I, there's a strategy to it. Mm-hmm. I have consistently won because there is this strategy of, I'm going to put this guy here and attack Gobby. I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to heal my guys. I'm going to do this to get... You abandon certain buildings to your opponents, and you can look out at the board and see what they're doing. I like that. I like being able to look out, glance over at Enrique, glance over at you, and see what you got going on. I don't like you looking at my stuff. I like looking at other people's stuff. Don't you be looking at my stuff. Peep and Tom and Jerry. <laughs> uh, that's I just like it. Yeah, sure. I just like it. I like it a lot. 
lot. A lot. So this is uh, this is probably the most basic. Majesty for the realm. The most basic it game. Soup's basic. Z-Man game Mike makes Say it. Soups for the kids out there. Is that the the talk? Yeah. Soups basic. Soups base. FRFR. FRFR. FTW. What does that mean? For the win. Oh. Oh yeah. Come on, Jerry. Mark he's, Onway. He's Onway. So FTW. Old. I am. You're basic. I am basic. Yeah. I'm you I'm are. I'm C plus <laughs> plus. So there's I don't uh, computer humor. <laughs> <Come here. laughs> You know what I hate about myself? What? I laugh, and it's just this. <laughs> just like, this well, you know, but I can't. St- I can't help it. I, I realize that when you're laugh, it's not that you're actual laughing. You're just letting out air. I'm breathing. I'm you're trying breathing. to breathe. You're, rever- <laughs> you're reverse breathing. You're just trying to get some air. <laughs> trying to get some air. That's what happens when someone tickles your funny bone. Uh, you got to breathe deep. Yes, Majesty Mark Andre. Mark Andre. Mark Andre. You've done. You said that twice in a row. You've done that. Mark Andre. Mark Andre. Mark Andre. Uh-huh. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> <laughs> that was old. Uh, yeah, I like it. That's for the kids out there. What do you think about it? Majesty for the Realm? Yes. Uh, I bought it based on a couple of different reviews, and they all said the same thing, that it was a good, simple game. It was getting tore up at BGG 2017. I saw a bunch of people playing it. Really? Yes. And I thought, ugh. Okay, Poker chips. I've played okay on one night here recently. We played Patrician, which you've never, never played. played. I'm going to introduce you to that just because it's it's a super ba- it's soups base. It's a super basic game. I saw on uh, Will Wheaton of whatever he does. <laughs> Will Wheaton. Will Wheaton. He's a big gamer. Yeah. Whatever. Well, yeah. But anyway, he. Uh, on Tumblr or something, he had Patrician, and it's an interesting game. Me and you and uh, Enrica could play it. But anyway, I played Magic for the Realm with my wife for non-gamers, basically, except for mm. Frankie. Frankie. Frankie is a friend of ours that lives a few blocks away. He friendly says, fr- I call him Friendly Frankie. <laughs> friendly, friendly Frank. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Willem Dafoe. Yeah. Willem Dafoe. I love him. He will mess you up unless you get on his side. Then he's Willem the friendly. Stop. Stop. No. We have. We I have, heard we, that somewhere else. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Willem the foe. Willem okay. the friendly. Just, <laughs> why you did, started it with Frankie. <laughs> that, that's, that it was. Frankie <laughs> the friendly. It made me think of it. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. We play Majesty for the Realm. And I loved it. Then we played Patrician, and I was wishing we were playing Magic for the Realm. Patri- uh, Patrician. Take that, Will Wheaton. Patrician is in, it's okay. You just build these towers with these, it's like these little shit. It's, uh, it's a roof. You put your roof on top of somebody else's roof. <laughs> roof or roof? In competitive roof. roofing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got my frame up, and then somebody comes along and shingles it. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it is. Darn it. And so each city, you have. Two different ones. You can put your roof in this city or this city, and it's just stories. You but, that's it. But yeah, it's simple, but it's just I don't know. But Magic for the Round, I'd rather play it. Yeah. If you're gonna play a 15 minute simple game, play Magic for the Round or Kanigawa. Or that's not near as simple as Magic for the Round. It's not. I tried explaining Kanigawa. Yeah, you're right. I'm saying Kani, Kani? but it's like Kan. I don't. I don't it's know. Kanigawa. We don't know how to explain. Connie God was. That's that lady that works Connie at Connie God. Down the street. Connie. Connie. Hey, Connie. Connie. What's hey, up, Connie? Connie? She's always overcharging me for my cappuccino. Uh, I tried explaining that, and, well, so, uh, we eventually started playing, but Kanagawa is not simple to explain. No, it's Because not. there's actually a lot that goes into it. But it is beautiful. It's a good, good game. But it is beautiful, but it's a step up. So if you're not super basic, I'm sorry. If you're not soup basic. Yeah, you know, basic. Soup basic. If you're... If you're FRFR, then you need to come. What all the cool kids are playing Kanagawa. I don't know where I'm going. I don't with know that. anybody's playing Kanagawa. Nobody's playing I don't Kanagawa. hear about Kanagawa. We are the lot. only people playing Kanagawa. I, I met Bruno Cathala. Yes, I seen him yes. in the I seen him in the elevator. Charles Chevalier. I seen him in the elevator and told him, Look, I love your game. Jade Mush Mosh, Jade Mosh. He's the artist, and which excellent. is really the key point of the game. Best art ever. 
All right. Well, that's 30 minutes. So let's end this. Well, wait a minute. There are right, few mm-hmm. announcements. We few announcements. Go into the next one. Okay. Few announcements. For next week. For the next two weeks. We're going to become bi weekly. Right. So here's okay. all right. Announcement number one. So in two weeks, we'll get back together and discuss The Gallerist. Yes, The Gallerist. Because okay. we just played The Gallerist. And I have thoughts about The Gallerist. But, anyways, first announcement. Unfortunately, Gabby will not be with us. But myself, our friend Enrique, mm-hmm. and Bubba RIT guy will be at BGG Spring Memorial Weekend, May 25th through the 28th, I think. Yes. We will be at BGG Spring. I'm very jealous. You're very jealous because Gobby is having his 20th anniversary with his wife. We usually go to BGG in the winter. winter. And so, unfortunately, due to all the craziness in the life, we're not going to be able to go to BGG in the winter. That is my 20th anniversary. He has been married to the same woman. Literally, it starts on my 20th anniversary every year. Every November year. 14th. Not your 20th. Yeah, it was on your 19th. Oh, year. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, for the past two years, for the past two years, Mrs. Gobby has stayed at home and let her husband go. This year is 20th, and so they have to. They're probably going to stay home, watch The Notebook, and play Patrician. We might. Yeah. Hey. So, anyways... But we will be at BGG Spring in May 25th. Mm. Me, Bubba, Enrique. If you oh, happen man. to be one of the 60 people who consistently listen to our podcast, please email us if you'd like to, I don't know, play Barony. Barony. I think you need to do that. Yes. If somebody wants to play Barony. That's all I'm going to do. Hit us up. And I'm going to set up a little table that just says Barony. I'm going to surround you. Barony teaching. only. Barony only. Barony or die. Barony or die. <laughs> uh, I'll think of something. I don't know how I'll you think of die. something very catchy like that. Uh we got now. We have our special episode coming up. Our special. Uh, we got Secret Hitler, and the new Kickstarter just come out. Black Orchestra. Oh. So the Nazi slash Hitler themed episode. <laughs> I guess I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that either. But the fact is, I've been wanting to play Secret Hitler. I've been wanting to play. Black it was Orchestra. all the rage three years ago. Well, sometimes we're a little slow. Yeah, we're a little slow. We're like okay. a big battleship. We gotta, we gotta bring you some of the mist hits. Yes, like the mist hits. We're like Uncle Cracker. Barony. We swim like a fish through no, the sea. Don't no compare us to Uncle Cracker. That's you don't not like the way. That's not, that's not the way to win. You don't want to follow me. Who? Cares? <laughs> Everything is all right. No, I'll stop. be the one to tuck you in at night. No, no. Is that a lyric? You won't don't find nobody else in. but me. I want right? you to tuck me in. Okay. Uh, my name's Jerry. Okay, I'm in Gabby. I'm Enrique. And that's we'll, all. Uh, we'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. That's what we're doing now. Uh, we're that way. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Board Game Snobs. Stay classy.